What's going on, good people? James Logan here, founder, CEO, and head coach of Higher Level Coaching. Uh, so today I want to continue the cover letter discussion because it's so much uh, that we can talk about with the cover letter. Uh, and I want to talk about advanced instructions again. Yesterday we spoke about uh, the first paragraph, how you should attach the job description with uh, your current or previous experience with the skills that you gained in your current and previous experience. You want to use examples. All right? all, throughout your cover letter, you want to try to give examples. Tell a story uh, if you can because that's memorable. Now, in the second and third paragraph, you want to make sure that you're still going into uh, you know, using the keywords and job uh, keywords and phrases that you found from the job description and attach it with your secondary or tertiary skills or experience, right? Things that are not as important as your current job or not as important as the things that are most relevant to the current job that you're applying to. The third paragraph is used, uh, you know, or the third or fourth paragraph, depending on how you arrange it, but somewhere in that cover letter, it should talk about why are you applying for this position. That's one thing that's missing in a lot of cover letters is why. Why are you applying? Because if you can tell me why you're applying and it's convincing, then I'm more likely to give you a call back. It's a lot easier for people to help you when they know how they can help you. So explaining, just giving a brief uh, explanation of why you're applying will be very helpful, will be very beneficial to you. Uh, and make sure it's convincing. Make sure you can connect the dots, right? Again, make sure that this position, I'm applying to this position because it aligns with my future and long-term career goals and also personal and professional values. Uh, again, People want to know, especially since the cover letter is an interview, people want to know, will you like the job? Can you do the job? And will we like you? So make sure you allude to that in the cover letter. The, the why paragraph is alluding to if you'll like the job. You know, just the general format, just the general feel of your cover letter and your, and your language will allow them to know that they'll like you. Uh, and, of course, that's why they may invite you to the interview to really determine if they'll like you or not. Uh, but can you do the job should pretty much be uh, um, you know, outlined in your resume and also with the examples that you include in the first paragraph or so of your of your cover letter. So again, make it convincing, make it persuasive. It should be very clear, err on the side of formality, 